The transition to Premier David Eby has begun as John Horgan gets ready to leave the province's top job. Today he sat down with CTV's Legislative Bureau Chief Binder Sudgeon and revealed what he's most proud of, despite not being able to convince the Prime Minister to chip in more money for health care. John Horgan is passing the baton to the Premier designate. I wanted to take a moment to uh, to thank uh, Premier John Horgan and uh, for his mentorship and leadership. I'll miss a great deal. It's been the honor of my life to have this job, but I am I am I know in my heart it's the right thing to do. The transition comes after a messy NDP leadership campaign. EB's opponent, climate activist Anjalia Potterai, ousted. If what happened with the NDP leadership race happened with the Liberals, when you were in opposition, it seems like you would have had a heyday with that. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Um, we'll see how, how they deal with it. They being the opposition, a place Horgan spent more than a decade. And so that As Premier, he says the new climate action plan and enshrining Indigenous rights are high points. The botched Royal BC Museum redevelopment, a low. Another disappointment, that Ottawa isn't stepping up with more health care funding. The Prime Minister and I had a conversation a year ago, and then a year went by, and we didn't make progress. And I'm disappointed in that, but I'm hopeful as well uh, that uh, health ministers are meeting in November in Vancouver, and the Prime Minister uh, reiterated his commitment to making sure that we get this done. Federal and provincial ministers will also soon meet to talk repeat offenders. In recent municipal elections, crime was a major worry. I think that the initiatives by the incoming council in Vancouver are positive. Uh, I think uh, what happens in Surrey will remain to be seen. We've been hearing calls to defund police, and that's not a solution. And quite frankly, that's the last thing we should do. We need to fund public safety to make sure that the right people are doing the right jobs. Burnaby RCMP Constable Shaylin Yang was doing outreach last week when she was stabbed to death. Horgan believes this is why addictions and mental health supports are so important. The investigation will carry on, of course, but uh, we have too many people who should not be living in encampments, should not be incarcerated, they should be in a medical facility. And that's why a, a continuing care structure needs to be built up to replace uh, what the, the old Riverview lands, for example, where we were able to put people where they could get the 24-hour care they need. Those solutions would take years. In the meantime, Horgan offering this advice to his successor. To all politicians, quite frankly, is stop just talking about politics and start talking always about people. Binder Sudgeon, CTV News, Victoria.